I recently had court, and it wasn't my first time there, and it probably won't be my last, but I remember the last time I went to court, that like you get to hear other people's cases or what they did and how they plead and everything, and I remember the last time I went, which is about probably like two years ago now, that most of fucking probably all of the cases was speeding tickets, driving while intoxicated, stuff like that. When it was this time, I was shocked. Like, there was these two girls, they, they robbed like something like $200 worth of um, groceries from Pathmark. And they were facing up to six months in jail for that. They had to get an attorney and everything was going to go to trial. I'm like, yo, what? Alright, what bothers me about this is that they're stealing food. They're not stealing fucking jewelry. They're not stealing, uh, you know, a fucking car. They're stealing food, which you need to live. You eat. Pathmark doesn't really sell that much shit, you know, besides food. So, and then they said it was groceries, you know. And the reason I found out it was food, because then there was another person in there. A guy, he stole stuff from Pathmark too, which was crazy. And then they lit, they had a list of, of, of what he stole. He was like, oh, you stole baby formula? <laughs> baby formula. Baby formula. Uh, a backpack, uh, milk, and I think eggs or some shit. And I was like, yo, you really charging this guy for robbing baby formula? Let's think about it. What the fuck could you do with baby formula except give it to a baby? And I think it was Pampers or some shit. It was basically everything for a baby that guys robbed. And they were charging them. And it was like, I don't know if it was a, a felon or anything, but um, they were like, oh, you, you're on probation, so this could get you in jail. I'm like, yo, what the fuck kind of world do we live in when you're going to put somebody behind bars for robbing baby formula? Like, why don't you take a look at why this guy needs to rob baby formula for a baby? You know what I'm saying? And then you, people could say, oh, you use it for other stuff. But, dog, Pampers. Pampers. All right. I'm going to put two and two together and say that was for a fucking baby that he was robbing that shit for. And the other two girls, you know, they look like really... They look like from the ghetto and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know how the look is. Dog, they robbing food. Like, what kind of sick bastard do you have to be at shop, right, to even catch these people robbing food? Food! Like, why would you even turn them in for that shit? Like, dog, we read these people just like criminals, just, like fucking nuts and shit. Like, dog, they robbing food. Like, when I was on the road trip, yo, I walked into Walmart, I walked into all these places, I was robbing shit, like, I guess the tattoos threw people off that, you know, when I walked out the gates and shit, if a long will go off, nobody said anything. But I was in different parts of the shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably like one time a, a lady tried to stop me and shit, and I was like, I ran off. I'm like, nigga, I'm not gonna get arrested for robbing CDs and fucking something to drink and fucking cookies and shit, you know what I'm saying? But it just goes to show you, man, like, yo, this world is fucking disgusting. When you're going to charge somebody for robbing shit for a baby. And people could say, oh, maybe he, he has money and he just wants to be cheap or anything. I don't give a fuck. It's for a baby. Like, I'm not... That's the way the law is. You can't rob. But I'm talking about the person who reported him or the person who caught him. Like, let me be a cop and find somebody robbing baby formula and pampers. I'll be like, where's your heart at? Where the fuck is the... <laughs> Like, where the fuck does your mind, where is it at, at the point you're putting handcuffs on a person for robbing shit for his baby, or a, ba a baby in general? Now, that, that baby didn't get baby for him, then did it get pampers. God knows what what happens to that baby next, you know what I'm saying? And then the other two girls robbing food. Food! They look like they had kids. I could tell when a, when a girl had a kid. I don't know, I guess it's just a thing in my head, I could just tell. And I'm just like... 
Like, it's basic needs, man. Like, water, food, fucking shelter. Like, damn, that's what we need as human beings. How do you report somebody for stealing something like that? Like, I will understand if a motherfucker steals a diamond ring or some shit. You know? Kind of understand it. They could be broke, too, and need that. But, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, between that and a fucking hamburger. I think I'll let a hamburger slide. You know what I'm saying? Or a fucking... An apple or some shit like where we at in motherfucking Somalia and shit where we fucking arresting people for stealing bread like <laughs> and sending them to jail for that shit like this is the world's getting worse and worse though is it, I laugh about it to try to like brighten it up it's such a dark subject to me and shit I always laugh about everything because I try to lighten it up but it's so dark man you just gotta really think about that like where the fuck is we going you know what I'm saying like, think about how the laws is now and shit. You punishing people for stealing this kind of shit. Tell me it can't get any worse. And it's, it's, probably, it's been like this probably forever, you know? If you, you rob anything out of anywhere, you're gonna, you're gonna get in trouble, but I'm just saying, like... Shit. Come on, man. This has to change, though. Like, at least... Fucking... Have some kind of rules, some shit or something. Like, you know, you pay the store back if they caught you. I don't know. Something different, man. It just bothers me, shit.